Patricia, a Carmelite nun, lived every moment of her life loving and worshipping God and serving Him in her fellow creatures, suffering brothers and sisters. A very hearty good morning to our school principal, Reverend Sister Rostam, our school manager, Reverend Sister Pushpa, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today, we the students of classes 6A and 6B are presenting before you the special assembly to celebrate the feast day of Saint Eupresia. Rosa Elvetingo was born on 17th October 1877 from Kunjati Elvetingo and Cherpurkaran Anthony. Even as a child, young Rosa endeavored to lead a life full of constant prayers of devotionals to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She often used to pray with her mother in the church who prayed ardently and surrendered her life to God. She belonged to a wealthy family but left everything to serve God. Ente nada, ni tanne, ini mata tende adi ban ayiri kiga. Iwede irna, ni tanne baranam nada tuga. Nyan, ninde dasi ana. The feast of Saint Ephrasia converge to remind us the values of love, unity and devotion. Dikshabandhan, the bond between brothers and sisters, teach us about the importance of protection, care and support. It's a day when siblings promise to stand by each other through thick and thin symbolizing the unbreakable ties of family and friendship. On the vibrant festival of Kerala brings us together to rejoice in the harvest, unity and prosperity. As we reflect on the legend of King Mahabali and the spirit of generosity, let us also remember the joy of sharing, the warmth of togetherness and beauty of cultural diversity. The feast of Saint Ephrasia, a sister of CMC, like Sister Pushpa and myself, our patron saint is an occasion to honor her life of dedication and service to her selflessness and devotion remind us of the importance of living life driven by compassion, 
humility and faith.